Minister Jose Antonio Ocampo is with me. Minister, it is good to see you, sir. Uh, very nice to be with you. Now, I know it is not unusual for politicians in Colombia to regret the decisions of the central bank. But do you think they're wrong, the central bank, to raise rates so high? Well, le let me say that, uh, to start with, that uh, as far as I can remember, all presidents have criticized at one point the central bank. Uh, now, the Minister of Finance participates in the board of the central bank and participates in the decisions. Uh, and let me say that uh, given the context of uh, rising interest rates worldwide, uh, it is difficult for Colombia not to uh, go in that direction uh, because otherwise we'll have a capital outflow. Right. So you're, this is the spillover. This is the you are tied to the Fed in a sense, not in a, in a formal peg sense, but you are tied. And if rates are going higher, you're going to put them higher as well. Well, or take the potential consequences on the currency. Well, uh, let me say, uh, rates started to increase uh, earlier in all Latin American countries, and uh, at one point we can also stop earlier. I mean, it depends on, the, on what the international context is. Uh, but of course, if the Fed continues uh, rising interest rates too fast, uh, it's difficult to be isolated. Is the Central Southern America, Latin America, premier in the market? Is that still fair? There is a premier on, on interest rates. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, let's say we have to pay more, yes. Yeah, that's sure. <laughs> Is it fair? Well, it's difficult to say if it's fair or not. I mean, whoever gets a, a higher cost for, for, for a loan uh, would probably say it's unfair. Uh, but in any case, it's, it's a normal characteristic of the market. Whenever I, I spoke to your predecessor and the, the, the previous president, there mm -hmm. were, in the later days, concerns over the policies that the new president was going to introduce. Uh, both on oil and gas, both on uh, public spending and on fiscal prudence. What we've seen in the Bank of England and the British government case is the market will punish and punish badly. Has that message got through to your government? Uh, well, let me say that uh, we are doing a, a significant fiscal adjustment. Uh, we're reducing the deficit from 7.1% of GDP to 43 next year. So uh, actually, if I, if I can say, the previous government did not do the fiscal adjustment. We are doing it. And you're doing it on what, in which way, though? Are you doing it with higher taxes or cutting spending? Uh, well, actually, or the, restructuring the debt? No, we don't do that. We haven't done that for decades. And we will not, not do even that. voluntary, not even, not even changing the, uh, the maturities? Well, you can trade uh, different maturities in the market. It's a normal practice mm -hmm. uh, in, in the debt market. So we do that, yes. Uh, but uh, le let me say that uh, in any case, uh, the redu uh, this year uh, spending is, is uh, being reduced. Uh, next year is going to be kept uh, by well doing also through a tax reform. Good to see you, Governor. Okay. So, uh, Minister, thank you so much. Nice to have you. And we'll talk again. In fact, hopefully oh, in Colombia. Yes. Oh, oh, yes, please come. We look forward to it. Thank you very much. It's Chris.